So we have a perfect scenario for you guys to show you what a firing valve is and how it works and why it's important to shut it off before you do anything else with the unit. Okay, we have a Temperite unit. It's a suspended unit heater in a warehouse. It's about 1.5 million BTUs and it's got a firing valve and it's locked out. So we're gonna go inside, I'm gonna show you why it's important to shut the firing valve off. Then we're gonna reset the machine and check it out. This video is brought to you by Harago.com, trades only platform helping you find the right job or the right candidate. Harago.com best in trade. Okay, here's the burner. The lighting is not very good up here, I know. But here's the burner, and if we follow the line back, here's the firing valve. Now, the handle broke on this particular valve. we got to get a new one, but we're going to use an adjustable wrench in its place. So this unit right now is locked out. Okay, the flame guard control is in the electrical panel. First thing we're going to do before we reset it is we're going to close the firing valve. Reason being is if there's a problem, we want to know and we don't want this thing going into main fire and causing an issue. We want to close this, establish a pilot first, and then we'll open this after. But we want to make sure that we can establish a pilot safely first before we open up the firing valve. So I'll close this down. So now that's closed off. So before we reset this, I pulled the pilot assembly out just to give it a once over. Now there was a light coating of dust on it, okay, um, but it's very clean. I don't know if you can see there's dust down here kind of. It had a light coating of dust on it, but besides that it's very clean. So I'm going to put this back in and we'll reset it and test it out. So here's the old fire eye. It's got my light on here. It's kind of dark, I know. But there's the old fire eye control. We're going to take the uh, cover off and we're going to expose the internals. And this is where we check for voltage when it fires up to see if we're getting the right voltage. So we have the meter leads in the terminals. We have our meter here set to volts DC. Okay, and we're going to go reset the controller. Now we're going to wait to establish pilot. So we're up and running here and we have a little blurry on the screen, but 18.2 volts DC. Now that is right in the wheelhouse there of the 14 to 17 that we've seen on the module here. So we are good to go after cleaning that flame sensor up. All right, so we are up and running here. Okay, fans on, everything's going well. Main burner's fired up. Now, just so you guys are aware, we did do a combustion analysis on the venting about a month ago, okay, and everything was good. Our main problem here was the fact that we had a dirty flame sensor due to the conditions in the warehouse. There's fork trucks, there's uh, transport trucks, there's a lot of cardboard and paper and dust accumulation, so that's been taken care of. Main thing here, guys, is close the firing valve before you start working on a machine that's locked out. Establish pilot and check the pilot signal with your meter and you're good to go at that point. Anyway guys, this is all up and running. Call's over. Thanks for watching. Happy HVACing.